Okay, welcome back, folks. Um, so for this video, um, hopefully it'll be a, a shorter video. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just show creating a um, the functionality for one of the views. Um, I've chosen customer because that's like the first thing you're gonna have to do. Uh, I've done a little bit of prep work for this one to just like make it go a little bit faster. Uh, the first thing is I've already created um, some some of the basic stuff, and if you can see, um, I am using JSTL. Uh, there are other ways of doing this, um, but I just wanted it to be clean and easy for people to follow. I have used scriptlets and Java pretty much um, exclusively in my other videos, um, and I know JSTL is a lot easier to follow. Um, I am using the tag library, but you do have to go ahead and add the JSTL um, dependency in your palm. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an on click. I'm going to create a button for the function. Okay, so th this is going to be your basic, um, your your JSP and however you go to pages and stuff like that's not really going to change um, aside from this page context thing. What's going to change is what we do in our controller. So Okay, so what we're going to do is we have to be able to take, uh, in the previous video, I showed how to take information from the JSP page and pass it to the um, controller. But now we have to go backwards. We have to take information from the controller and send it to the view. And how we do that is we return what's called a model and a view as opposed to just a string. Um, so like I said, I've I completed some preliminary work for this. I have all my imports that are needed. And I also have my import, or I'm, I have my DAO object there. Um, so I just have to create a list of customers called customers and I pass it my DAO dot get all customers. So far it's not any different than what we would do in a servlet. Once we get to the servlet part we create a list for um, We create a list that we're going to pass on to um, a JSP page. Normally, we or previously, we did that with servlets. Um, but now we're going to do something slightly different. Remember that these methods return to the dispatcher servlet, and then the dispatcher servlet decides what to do with it. 
So we're going to create a new model and view. And we're going to pass it a new model and view. So the model and view accepts three things. Okay? Thing that it wants is the new URL that we're trying to get to. Okay? Um, and the new the new page that we're trying to get to will be called um, and then the second thing it needs is it needs the variable name that we're going to call on our JSP page. So think of this as session dot set attribute. And I know I'm, I need capitals to be perfectly correct. So you can think of this return new model and view very much like a session dot set attribute where you're setting an attribute called customers list, passing it the data, and then you're sending a redirect to whichever URL you want. Um, this return replaces both of those lines of code. Um, so we're sending the dispatcher servlet, the new URL, the models, or the model we want it to follow, as well as a name to call the model. Um, and since we're doing a list, we're going to identify that. It's a list, however you want to identify it really doesn't matter. It's a variable. It could be whatever you want. Um, just make it easy and clean for someone to follow. Um, customer. I believe I used capital L. Once again, same as with session attributes. They have to be the same. Um, customers L. So I will just go ahead and copy and paste. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and return on this um, bottom one. I'm just going to return customer. Because we need to go to the JSP page for adding a customer, we're going to have to create a new JSP page for adding a customer. So new JSP, new customer, finish. Um, and you do all your inputs however you want. Um, I'll go ahead and get the setup for that. Okay, so setup's all done. Um, all, all I needed to do was um, add in a method um, that does a DAO add the customer uh, model attribute. Um, and then I, in my JSP page, I created all the inputs, making sure that my model or my names for my inputs matched my model variable names. Okay. Um, so that, that's there. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens.
Okay, so obviously something didn't work right. Um, so let's go figure out what went wrong. Okay, let's try this again. Now that I have the proper annotations. Okay, I'm getting a null pointer exception. I wonder why. Ah, so something I forgot to do when I did my setup is change my user and my password. to the actual username and password um, on my database. Let's try rerunning this. Okay, um, so that works, except for the email. Um, why are the emails not working? So let's go figure out why the email's not working. Custodial. Huh. That would be why. Um, either way, um, I click add customer. Okay, it just took a while to load. Um, let's just add some stuff in here. Really doesn't matter. Except for the phone number, probably needs to be a number. Let's do create. Um,
I know what's, I know what the problem is there. As some of you may have seen, it wasn't showing the whatever, um, and it wasn't actually going to the proper thing, and as you can see, it actually added those values multiple times, um, which is not what I wanted. Uh, so what I had to do is, once again, I had to go to the, or the controller method for loading up what was in the database um, before I could um, see the changes. So all I have to do is, in order to go back to a, go from controller to controller, you return a model view, and inside of the model, you do a redirect, changing the URL again um, to your um, controller. Um, I'm not going to explain most of this um, anymore as this is, um, for the most part, things we've done with servlets. Um, the only differences are connecting the serv or the controller with the JSP page and vice versa. And this shows a few ways to do that. Um, if there's any comments or I missed out on something, please let me know. Um, and I will create a follow-up video. Thanks for watching.